Oh, well, he started with a poem, which was cute, that I wrote. He started with a poem? Wrote yeah, a poem? he wrote a poem. Like, oh. an original? Yeah. That's so sweet. I'm a mess. <laughs> love of my life. Love of my life. Listen to me as I speak. Listen to me as I write. You are the most beautiful of them all. For who is like you? No, not one. Your eyes are like doves and your lips like scarlet thread. Your smile as bright as the sun. Your heart is made of gold. The Lord has touched it. Your joy is as radiant as the sun. Who is like you? No, not one. This soul has found its bride. He has found his beloved. He has searched far and wide, and finally, he sees God's goodness standing right in front of him today. to love you unconditionally and to fight for this love with God's supernatural forgiveness and grace. I promise to spur you on towards Christ in love and good works so that you may become all that the Father has for you. I, Jacob, to you, Jacob, to be the lawfully wedded wife. I, Jacqueline, take you, Jacob, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise to not look to the left or to the right, but to fix my eyes on Christ till death do us part. This is my covenant with you horizontally, as well as my covenant to God vertically. God, we thank you for marriage. We pray that your face would shine upon them all the days of their lives. It's now my privilege to pronounce you man and wife.
Approximately a year ago, I had the wonderful opportunity to marry my beautiful bride. And I remember Jacqueline coming into the family's room and she was so determined to serve us in any shape or form. She was there to make the day special for the two of us. And in those moments, I knew Jacob had found her forever. She made our family feel more complete. Choosing each other, you have chosen perfectly. My prayer for the two of you is not necessarily success and happiness. My prayer for both of you is that for all your days you find purpose, joy, peace, and life in the person of Jesus Christ.